Porn Stars and People podcast. I'm Dan Frigolette. I'm here with my guest, Ariel Rebel. Hello. Thank, thank you. you. We both got comfy to the yeah, exact same moment. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm going a little bit down the couch. This thing just like enveloped us. Yeah. Hey, it's all a lot of butts. Uh, so what's going on? Uh, thank you for doing this. I'm in Montreal for my fir- the first time ever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Do, yeah. you, do you like the city up to date? You, you chose a good week, actually. We've yeah. been having some, like, okay weather. Yeah. Th- this is, uh, this okay is, weather. It's interesting <laughs> when people want to... Um, they want to like apologize for the weather in the city. They're oh, like, dude, oh, I stopped doing that. Have, you shouldn't have come. Yeah. It's like not good. I'm <laughs> like, eh, I, I think the, the things are still here. Whatever the things are you're supposed to see. Yeah, my, Montreal is like so-so weather. So yeah. D- for today, this is good. Yeah, well, I'm from, I mean, I'm from New York, so it's like oh, okay, I'm so just you're used to, to that yeah, sort of this vibe. This yeah, is yeah. the vibe. Yeah. At least you're not coming in the winter, you know, like minus 40. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good timing for everything. It's, uh, you're here. Uh, comedy is here this week. Um. So I'm excited. I'm I'm here for today. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I leave. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got in last oh, night. Oh, I feel at so like special. <laughs> 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 I got in at um like like nine. Uh, went straight to some comedy events. Gonna do this today. Gonna do comedy today, and then uh, wake up at seven and leave. That sounds wonderful. Y- yes and no. It's like I'm, like, I'm not gonna I'm <laughs> not gonna get super I'm not gonna get the uh, I'm not gonna get the city. I'm not gonna get the experience. But yeah, you're gonna have to come back because it's actually a really yeah. cool place. Yeah, it's yeah. Also yeah. There's, not there's far. a lot of things to do. There's a lot of good food. Yeah. I don't know if you like food. F- uh, what uh, what's that uh, word? Uh, F- food, food. 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 Never yeah. never heard of that. No, no no. No, they were they were bringing stuff up last night. I, I got to eat some uh, some poutine, which was a thing From you had where? to eat. I don't. They just made it and they brought it. Was it good? Because <laughs> there's like <laughs> many different types yeah, yeah, and many yeah, different no, like restaurants. I like, and this, like, vibe, this, like <laughs> this, this is like a science. I'm sure it was mediocre, like uh. compared to like what it could be. Okay, so then come back and then we'll go for yeah. good poutine. But it was also it's also <laughs> one of these things where it's like um, I don't know. Somebody was eating. Somebody was eating it and then uh, and then about halfway through they're like they're like it's enough. It's enough. And like I f- that's how I feel about poutine. Okay. It's like it's very good. Like four bites, six bites Until you're are done. fantastic. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, let's leave it there. Yeah, no, because you can go just keep going. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's one of the ones that you can like really go far. Uh, too fries, far. gravy, and cheese. You know, you can't yeah. really go wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can go too far though. You can you like can go you too far, you but can, you can't go wrong. You can change the trajectory of your night by eating too much poutine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> just jug it out in the morning, and that's it. It's fine. So how long have you been to Montreal? What would you recommend if somebody was here for 17 hours that they would do? Uh, but first of all, I hope that 17 hours is during the summer. <laughs> uh, honestly, it depends on when you're coming, but there's so many festivals. Yeah. Uh, uh, dude, I could give you a list of restaurants. Mm-hmm. I'm a big foodie, so there's so many restaurants to do. There's great clubs and bars and stuff like that. Like If you, if you like to go out, it's a cool place yeah. to go out. Yeah. How do you pick... How do you pick a restaurant? So my my like my little cheat lately has been because I'm only in a city for like a day at a time. Mm-hmm. So I'll just pick like one cuisine okay. that I want to find in that city and like try to find the best one around the world. What like what's your how do you like do the day to day like, oh, I got to go to a new restaurant today? Uh, well, these days I'm on ramen kind of extravaganza. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no you way. come from New York. So, y- yeah. you know, it's going to be like a hard one to top off, yeah. I have to say. Well, New but York uh, is tough because we have everything. We have all this stuff. Yeah. Um, well, Montreal is kind of the same, yeah. but like in a smaller scale. Right. Um, but the the area that I visit recently has like a lot of ramen shops and everything. Okay. What makes so a good ramen? Well, the broth, yeah. obviously, the mix of broth with the spicy oil and all the veggies and all the fancy dancy things in it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Kington Ramen on the Bishop is my favorite place okay. to date. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then, and so have you been places since then that have topped it? No, nope. I mean that have no uh, actually that, that have that have that like the you so you went to that or is that the most recent? It one is the it? top one up to date. So you g- so you go to other places and they don't stack up. Oh no, not at all, not even close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If not, I go to Chinatown and then it's dumpling galore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a good soup dumpling actually on Chinatown. There. There's a, there's a good Chinatown. I passed. Um, I I was with the, I was in a cab last night with no information. I passed an area that had like these strung up lights and I was like, what area is this? And the guy. On Catherine. Yeah, is that what yeah. it was? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the gay area. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he because was, you're like right I there, wasn't actually. sure if he was like a weirdo or if that's just how you guys say it. He just goes, yeah, it's the gay area. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, Montreal is like super gay. City. It's just weird. It's just weird to put it that way because like in New York, we're like we're like we're like we're like this is Chelsea. Okay. And that's the gay area, but we don't really say it's the gay. We just go, this is Chelsea. Oh no, here it's p- you're supposed to like very no. pri- proud. And <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, colorful. It's just the gay part. So does it say it on the map, gay area? Actually, I think some maps, um, um, yeah. maps actually says oh, it. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. I love that. 
um yeah that's and really it cool. expands actually every yeah. year like they're they're really like redoing the oh movement. yeah yeah yeah. they're gonna close this part of st catherine like you can only walk there there's no car oh like, that's great that's yeah, what happens to chill. chinatown in new york they just keep taking over other parts of the neighbor like they took over little italy that's awesome i like the idea that like uh I see that our the chinatown gay area. In literally is very far yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I like the idea that like the the gay areas is gonna like start taking over other neighborhoods and it's just gonna stretch. It's gonna be like it. gay Italians yeah, and then gay Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Come, <laughs> I'll come back in ten years and it's like gay Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. that's really funny. That's cool. Uh, so how long have you been in Montreal? I lived here all my life. No shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So what's what's great about it? The people. Okay. W- no, actually. Okay, I love my city. Honestly, it, it it's a cool place to be. There's a lot of things to do. Chicks are hot, guys yep. are hot. You yep. know, like it, it's fun for that. Um, I don't like the winter, so yeah. I'm actually like aiming to leave. Are you trying to figure <laughs> out just going somewhere else? Like yeah, well, actually, four years ago, uh, me and my boyfriend just decided to put all our shit in storage yeah. and go on an adventure. No shit. So we put the dog and the cat in the car, and we just oh, went. You say you put, we we put the dog the in US. storage, and we no, no shit. Where'd you go? Uh, well, actually, we drove to California, yeah. and then we just did this across the state. Wow. So we actually came back like not too long ago. No shit. Yeah, we That's took an fantastic. apartment here, and now we're here for like the next two, three years. So do you have things again? Did you put? Your, did you bring your I things out? I do have things again. I yeah. have all my cookbooks and all my stuff, That's and I have to buy furniture. And yeah. No yeah. shit. Yeah. So wait, did you did you like live in the uh, did you live in the car or were you guys hopping and doing were you camping? Some days were you doing we lived yeah? in the car. Yeah, yeah, I slept in my car. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No, it's cool. Slept it's like the, the next car. level of like um, independence. I don't know. Pissing like beside the car really yeah. show you like you're like yeah I'm a strong independent <laughs> person like I'm pissing beside my car it's yeah. great. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Do you eventually get um, do you do you get less shy for peeing on like uh, the first couple times? I usually times, hide for that stuff. The first couple times like the cars are coming by <laughs> and you're I like and you're hide. like nobody and then after a while you're just like in front of the car and you're like I know. Yeah. I <laughs> like know. I'm used to this. Yeah. No, this is uh, this is it's rare to find a woman uh, who will pop a squat anywhere. I dated a girl in college who, uh, I, it was like my 21st birthday, and and we we just she just popped a squat and peed in the parking lot right there. Hey, there you go, and man. And I peed right next to her. It was romance. Oh, it that's was romantic. Ro- it was very romantic. <laughs> 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 but I, it's hard to meet a woman who's interested in peeing on the side of the road. These it's are these a, are like a requirement. These for are you my in a these are my qualifying or? factors. Okay, you're like okay. Do you pee in bushes? <laughs> it's Perfect. The first thing I we're gonna, we're gonna get along. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's just interesting because it, because it was I didn't think it'd be something that was rare and I didn't think it was something that I would care about. And, but I haven't met anybody in the you know. But the, I guess it showed that like she's easy going and yeah. like cl- like you know open minded. Yeah. yeah. Like you pee in the bush, you're and a cool a, person. And a drunk. So and yeah, and a drunk. Yeah, it <laughs> <that> happens. <laughs> yeah, there's there's been a lot of drunk yeah. bush peeing moments. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You just can't so follow when you're doing it. <laughs> what's the um? Okay, so what's the what's the best place you saw on that trip? Or what's uh, your favorite place? Honestly, I fell in love with Joshua Tree. Oh wow! It's beautiful. I, I wanted to go things. see the White Sand, but I actually missed it yeah. sadly. Um, so yeah, Joshua Tree was like by far my favorite place. And this is. Um, That's in California. Cause is it California? Yeah. I was. I'm always. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm in the. It's a. It like. 30 minutes from Palm Springs. Okay, very yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. very cool. So that's all you do. You just bounce, you bounce back and forth in Cali. Yeah, exactly. But we we first drove there, so and then after that we came back and like you know we stayed at people's places. Yeah. Like some people that I met on Twitter that we've no been shit. talking for like a no year. Shit. Never met you. Can I just come live at your yeah. place? Yeah. Like that's way more dangerous for you. I try to do things like was. that, but that's dangerous for you. It is, but then again, I mean, you, you know, I chose security my people. Detail, yeah. I, I chose my people. Yeah. I had Max with me. Yeah. So, no, no, it, it was chill. I met some really cool people. No, peeps, it's really uh, cool. It's a really cool way to do it. Yeah. You know, like the dumbest stuff you do always create the best stories. Yeah. So, we're like, okay, right, so we're just yeah, going to do a bunch of dumb stuff. Yeah, and well see if, what yeah happens. if you start the story <laughs> with something that people are like, I would never do that, then the what happens at the end is. Well, fantastic. you know, so yeah. some bad things happen on yeah, the way. So, we're like, okay, you know, maybe that was not the best idea. But then again, I'm like, I'm looking back on that. I'm like, it was dumb. But then I liked it. Yeah, like I, yeah. like I, I have um, that on my record of like dumb stories. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah, the one of the weirdest ones I ever did with a with a group of guys was we were we were like we were driving to Oklahoma City. And it's one of the only places we didn't tr- we didn't plan a uh, house for. So I was on like dating sites, and we yeah, found see, this lady. Do. Yeah, it's is it you said is it it's just something you don't do? Yeah, I couldn't like you shouldn't, do dating you shouldn't sites. have to. No, I don't have to, but yeah. I mean like even if I was single I wouldn't do dating sites. Yeah, like it's it we, okay, but in this in this case it's like we're going to Oklahoma City, we don't know anybody there. Mm. So we were we were but we were just on there being like, let's find some people to hang out with, let's find some people to come to shows, let's figure out what's going on. 
and we were like in this little crisis of something else that happened because we had to move a show. We had 100 people coming to the show. We had the show. We had the shows like packed out, ready to rock. But then the venue was being a pain in the ass within like a 24 hour span. Oh, that's so we nice. had to find a new venue, move 100 people. And in the midst of that whole thing, then we had to drive from Dallas to Oklahoma City, which I can't remember how long that was. So in all of that, we're like, we don't even have a house. We don't have anything. And then some of the people we'd been talking to on Tinder, this, this girl like in, said, I got this whole house. Come just stay here. So it was like me, uh, another female comedian, two other dude comedians. And we just took over this lady's house for like a week. And it was we had like all nice. of her friends come over. We did a show in her living room. It was one of the like greatest experiences we ever that, had. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. But like, you see, but it started from a dumb yeah. kind of thing to do. This woman just being like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should just maybe you should just stay here. Like we're, this could have been the house of the 1000 corpse. Right, again, you right, know? right, like, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah, just come yeah initially we would have been like, I don't know if that's <laughs> like, like maybe whatever. Like we're uh, like, but she was like, maybe you can stay here. And we're like, yes, yes, please. Yes, yeah. we're coming there now. What's the address? We have to come there is now. There a shower? Yes, we have a shower. Yeah, that's exactly what I think that's the hardest part to be on the road. Was like the shower parts. right yeah yeah some days you're like i slept in my car it's been two days and yeah i don't want to pay a hundred bucks just to go take a shower right. so you're like okay fine greasy hair for two days yeah <laughs> no i there was a place i've never i've only had a couple instincts to be homeless in my life and one of them was i was in fort lauderdale and i was like sort of a transition point in my life and i was trying to figure out do i move do i stay is comedy gonna work what am i doing and they had like showers on the beach, and I was oh, like, "Oh, you could just live here and shower on the beach." Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You I remember shower. seeing that in Miami. I was like, oh, yeah. "Oh, okay. Well, then that's what you should have done." Yeah, you know, just get some time. soap, shower on the beach. You don't want to be the guy who's showering inside of the like public restroom with like a washcloth. And yeah, no. But no, showering no, on the no. beach, you just you just act like you were just surfing. Yeah, it's exactly. Totally, totally chill. I did. I was never. I never got. I never did the homeless thing, but. Uh, that's that's an option that and then sort of like with a gym membership now you pr you're almost all the way there true but when you're traveling around it's kind of hard to keep you gotta gym yeah you gotta find a gym or yeah. have a super amazing twitter following and just go hey i'm just in town yeah, I'm like, can okay, i like guys, borrow I your gym sleep in a shower. <laughs> <laughs> well don't tell them you're gonna sleep under the machine you just, yeah you just say can i use the gym and then go shower yeah that's a good idea <laughs> <laughs> sleep in the sauna now like that either you're like you're, i would you, die that you're in the sauna <laughs> <laughs> like well, i can't turn it on no yeah but then there's people that want to try the sauna and you're like okay it's been 15 minutes and i'm dying but the um so yeah the uh i i've I'm, I'm like halfway in my mind between building like just like this amazing like road trip machine that has all the things like, like a bus yeah like get an old school bus i have a friend that did that it. actually yeah? yeah absolutely yeah, it's um it's it seems like the way to do it it seems it fantastic. seems pretty cool yeah. Yeah. except i don't want the, uh, but kind of like you i don't want the toilet in the in the thing no i don't want to like carry my pee no 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 but anyways you you're you're well known in peeing in bushes and yeah, stuff like that yeah. so like you do your I'm business well in yeah, bushes that's, that's what i'm known for yeah yeah that's exactly <laughs> <laughs> well, that that that's how I know you now. Like, yeah, okay, the so well, the like guy who pees in bushes. Exactly. Which, odd, oddly enough, I I don't spend enough time peeing outside. Like, it's a very rare occasion when I do do that. So there really is. I really do have this theory. You can always find a bathroom. Depends on where you are, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. But then I. I, I you're don't in the know. middle of nowhere. You're in the middle of nowhere, and yeah, and you deal yeah. with it. But if there's a choice of a bathroom, I'm I'm. Well, I'm yeah, going obviously. To the I did find. Although that it depends on which kind of bathroom. There's some really like yeah, we were driving through Colorado, and like the beginning of the state has yeah. literally, butt fuck, and we're like we're driving for like three hours, yeah. and then we get to this. Uh, gas station where it has like a, a dinosaur in front of it okay it whatever so it's like the only gas station where you can stop yeah and the people that uh, works there seems to be living there for like a week oh. because they can't go anywhere they can't go anywhere exactly so and it's just a week shift looks like it. yeah so i go there and then i drop my phone in the toilet ah there you go so th that that was like the yeah. worst toilet experience and it looked terrible and yeah 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 I so think you know sometimes i'm like maybe i should have gone in the bushes there i would have like dropped my phone in the bushes I yeah been less well worse. you might have peed on it but it would have been it probably it would have been less worse yeah it would have been less worse yeah. like going to did grab you my phone did you leave it oh no man i grabbed it and Are i came back in the car and i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god and then i was just gross Oh, that's terrible. So Since today, I put it? the phone close to my face, you know, and I'm like, same one. You know, it's the phone that I dropped at the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> in Colorado. I washed it. I washed well, it. Well, you have a stronger immune system now for it. Exactly. It worked out. You know, that this is how the shit works. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, yeah, there was, I guess that's true. So there, where was, where, 
one of the one of the drives, and I don't I don't remember exactly where it is because when you're doing these long drives, you just like sort of you get out and you go and you whatever. But there's a lot of like state parks where they it's yes. literally it's a hole and they've put just sort of like molded plastic over the hole. Yeah, it's like in just, Bulgaria. You just poop in yeah, the, the hole. Yeah, the um, Turkish toilets. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen them, but it's you just. You oh yeah, I've been there done that. And you just sit and it just goes in it just goes in a hole and you're yeah. just in nature. It's back in nature. Yeah, it's it's quite special to squat yeah. actually. Yeah. You know, for a guy it's easy. You just like you take it out, you aim, and then that's fine. There's like a girl listen, literally needs to, to be it. like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> And you know, and like you're hoping that you're gonna stream properly because <laughs> right. if you don't stream properly, you just drop like down your legs. Yeah, <laughs> just like shoes, the whole thing. Exactly. Yeah. No, there's there's more. Listen, there's more to it for men than you think. We have to, you know, we have to Take flick it, it at the end. You oh know, there's my like God. a whole process. It's so hard, you know. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> I, uh, I, and I'm, and I'm, a, and I'm a sit down peer. That's my, that's my, that's my nighttime deal. So that because too lazy. Otherwise, you pee. Yeah. Well, no, it's more than that. It's like I'm so asleep. Oh, okay. And I don't want to wake up and find that I've like redecorated the the whole bathroom. I can see that. It's yeah. like because we'll we'll pee by sound, right? Like we're like uh, that's what that's your first movie. You're trying to find the water, and then if you like go too far, now you've now you're cleaning up pee in the middle of the night. You just want to be sleeping. No, 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 you sit and pee. That makes sense. It's good. It's Hopefully a good move. your balls don't touch the water. It's a good move. Yeah. Well, listen, things happen. Hmm. Things happen. But touch the water. Oh, it's cold. Ooh, go back. Yeah. Up. There you go. There yeah. you go. Just get it out. Pull it out like your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then just don't put it to the side of your head. There that you often. go. That's funny. Um, okay, so yeah, so Montreal, man. I've, I've heard amazing. I've heard amazing things. What do you think? Uh, this is this is a real thing. I, I, of over the years, guys that I've known that have that have dated girls from Canada have much better experiences than guys who do really girls from what do we US. do different i don't know that's what i was gonna ask you well we're horny here there's actually like an, okay well there's that <laughs> we really are there's like there's an e there's like an easier going less dramatic less right yeah um, I, I guess go from a trailer like really easy going yeah yeah th there's something that i've heard before but yeah we're just why aren't girls crazy in montreal aren't crazy yeah. no we are <laughs> crazy first of all every woman is crazy okay <laughs> guys are dumb women's are as crazy as okay this it, is a I'm rule yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 guys are dumb yeah and women's are crazy we're so dumb yeah well you are yeah, yeah but we love that you know it's easy to control <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, i was working on this idea the other day i just realized because i was like uh, i uh, i haven't i haven't been i haven't been in a relationship in like a year but i like switch jackets every time you switch jackets in a season i'll find condoms on my clothes because you just use condoms or no, 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 okay, no, cool, no. I'm a gentleman. But so <laughs> so they're in their wrappers, but I'll find them like in my old coats and stuff like this. And I, I had like a huge problem when I was dating this this woman uh, a couple years ago who she like found them in my pocket. And they're like, no, no, those are from like la those are from like last, last year winter. Like <laughs> I'm throwing last them out. Season condom, and know? she now I wasn't cheating on her. And she ki she basically almost convinced me. That I was cheating on her because she found these condoms. Like this is how so dumb men are. You just literally did not recall. Like okay, no, I no, I'm telling you, babe, I did not no, do I'm anything. Just, oh, we're you just know so what? dumb, and we think. can't argue that. Like, sh like she made some compelling points. She like okay. <laughs> she like almost convinced me that I was carrying them around to be a, a dirt ball when I wasn't. Wow. But there's uh, but then but then from this is this idea that like men we always carry condoms on this idea that, that maybe something is gonna something's happen. Something's gonna happen. We have them like sewn into our shoes, like you know what I mean? They're they're in every jacket, you know, they're just everywhere. I think women should carry condoms as I well anyways. Oh, it would be the responsible thing to yes. do. But then again, like you don't know what kind of cock you're gonna get. Yeah. So you're like, Oh, I'm sorry, I just yeah, only brought extra yeah, large. You don't wanna have you're like way too small for my average so i'm like just just go back home you yeah, know like well i guess yeah th yeah it's like you have to bring like a, vi a you have variety. to be this tall to ride this ride yeah exactly yeah you're like okay so you don't if you don't fit in the condom you know you gotta go yeah, if the yeah gloves no, don't fit, yeah you don't want to be the um <laughs> like the guy with the watches the old no. the old stereotype of the guy yeah you're York like okay City. so which one do you want i got i got all yeah, these different varieties go. different flavors that's literally the scene from uh uh What's the prostitute movie with uh, um? What's the prostitute with with Richard Gere? Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. <laughs> huh? Yeah, she literally has. That oh scene. yes, she says that's I got true. All shape, sizes, yeah, yeah, varieties, flavors. True, yeah. True. Yeah, and no, all not the flavor ones. They're yeah. gross. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I've never. And who I'm wants to suck dick with the condom? I'm sorry, no. It's hey, not gonna amen. Happen. I can't. I can't really argue with that. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So 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 women in Montreal are also crazy. Fair enough. But, you know, like, there's a lot of party that happen here. People are just easygoing. It's a very artistic city. Yeah. So it's like, we're just a bunch of artists and, you know, lost souls. Yeah. <laughs> no. Horny lost souls. Horny lost souls. That, seems, that seems like a fun, a fun name for a movie. 
Um, porn you love souls. What's the what's like the what's the porn vibe here? I don't know every There's city. There's actually a porn convention in the yeah. week. Oh no shit. Yeah, starting on uh, Tuesday. I keep fucking up all the timelines on everything. I I was in London. Uh, I got back to London three days after a porn convention, so it's like. But it's not like a porn convention where people can go. It's mostly just the people from the indus- yeah. industry. But yeah. uh, uh, the industry is getting bigger. Yeah. Here we have all the head office. So okay. like all the big companies are here from, you know. This is like the Vegas or the L.A. of No, L.A. is Canada. the shooting place. But of, but of, can- but of Canada. Uh, you know what? There's more models in Toronto. Yeah. There's more production in Toronto than there is in Montreal. But yet in Montreal, there is more uh, companies. Okay. Interesting. So, but. People don't produce here most of the time. Yeah. Uh, everybody has to go either to BC or Toronto to shoot. But like all the companies like uh, Mind Geeks and everything, they all have their office here. Nice. So it's like we're all a bunch of porn administrative people. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the industry's pretty big, actually. Nice. And it's getting bigger every year. But I'm indie. I've been indie since yeah. uh, like 13 years. Nice. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I do. Th- I do this thing now because as I've been traveling so much, is I'll just I'll just sort of like. I'm like, I don't know. Does South Africa have a porn industry and just get on Today? the Googles? But South Africa does not. No. Africa does <laughs> I was not. like, I don't see South Africa. South Africa, <laughs> South Africa had like one movie that came out and everybody like and, and everybody references it. Like everywhere I meet, everywhere I'll be like, do you guys have porn? And they're like, oh, and they'll tell me about this one movie. And it was weird. And it was like 15 years ago. And okay. like, there was some scandalous stuff that went down in it, I guess. Um, and that's it. So there's there's really nothing else going with that. Uh, London has a little bit of an industry. London has a decent industry, yeah. yeah. France, uh, Paris is very good. Yeah. Uh, Barcelona is it's great. It's tough, yeah, because when I'm there, yeah. I try to find people because they all shoot and they all hop around. So like, yeah. I'm trying to find people. So it's just it was just always it was just always hard to find when everybody would be in town in in, in London because it's way closer. Have I you mean, been to, uh, to Berlin? Get, no, no. Berlin apparently has a decent industry as well. They yeah. even have like a Berlin uh, porn film festival, no, where no it's shit. mostly like artistic film yeah. with uh, erotism and right. pornography in it. Yeah. So yeah, because yeah. Germany, yeah, Germany, they handle things differently. They uh, are, all the way they, they are yeah. their own yeah. category. Yeah. But this is hey, art. I love freaks. Yeah, <laughs> freaks yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, and the, yeah, and then they get in, they get into some heavy fetish stuff too. Oh right? yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. On shame, freaks. Though, yeah. they, like bring it on. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Um, yeah, so it's just it's just tough to to catch people because everything is so close. Mm-hmm. So it's like so when pe- people just yeah, people will just go to Barcelona for the weekend. It's Absolutely. like it's way yeah. easier. It's like this you don't really go to Vegas or LA for the weekend. You gotta take those the long trip. You you know you the make long a five trip. It's a week and a half of driving. Yeah, <laughs> right. That too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait. So I didn't even, I didn't even finish. So okay. So for Montreal, what's the route that you took? Did you, did you drive mostly in Canada, then pop down? Did you go straight into New York and then go across? Well, the first time we did it, we did the the northern states. Yeah. And then the second time, the one that we just came back from we did all the southern states okay so when do you so when do you pop the border when you the first time you came uh it was to go to new york you did you yeah, went yeah, straight yeah. down yeah, so i'm f- so york. i'm from uh, my family's from albany so i'm only like four hours from here oh, okay. in a car, maybe three and a half so you basically pop down you do all the mountains yeah and then you, and then you can just pop across um but yeah but the first time we went actually well actually the second time we went down and then we went to virginia beach and then yeah. we went to we did the whole like. Oh, seven. nice. Yeah. You go that whole route end yeah, of it in Atlanta. I like Virginia Beach. Yeah. Virginia cute. Beach is cool. My little brother, uh, he was living there. He's living in London now, but it's a, I, I, he was he wanted to live there for years. And I was like, I don't know, understand why. Because we, we took like one trip there when we were kids and it was Super like. Super chill place, yeah. honestly. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's got a weird vibe. So it's got the Norfolk and uh, Virginia Beach vibe because yeah. it's got all the Navy boys and then it's got the uh, and then it's got the, the Virginia Beach side. It yeah, is. There was a weird actually a lot of hot guys there. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised. I was like, hmm. Yeah. I like here. <laughs> there's hot people. There's I hot like people everywhere here. now. Yeah. There's hot people. Well, except for like, except for the middle of the country. This is what I found yeah, out the other day. Yeah, well, here Canada too. The middle is yeah. so boring. Oh the, my god. The closer you get to the coasts, the 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 gap between men and women, like like kind of like. Uh, uh, you mean in terms of hotness? Up. No, no, but well, I, I would s- well, I would say that uh, probably the the key to all the things is like anybody who like actually cares what they look like. So men that okay. care and take the time. So that's closer to women than like the guys in the middle of all countries that just sort of like have a uniform that they wear. Like mm-hmm. I like I recently saw some people that were li- like wearing the overall like farmer uniform that I didn't well, think was a real are thing. Farmers yeah, but like they, this was a Friday night. Like at a sh- like they came out. They Maybe came they out of the house. Maybe they were their Friday night overalls. <laughs> you know, they're like those are the one with the leather pockets. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 and then there's this thing in uh, where was I? I was in Portland, and there was and there was men with full beards and dresses. So the just the the difference between men and women starts to shrink the closer you get to oceans for some reason. Yeah, but then Portland, you know, like you're close to California. Yeah, and yeah. Well, Portland is like the 
the eccentric max, land. The max of like do whatever you want and not get judged. Like that they've taken a hold of that thing. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. We we drove through it, but we didn't stay yeah. very long. I, I uh, we drove a little bit higher up to uh, Port Angeles. Okay. <gasps> Love yeah. Los Angeles. Oh my God, it is peace on earth. Oh like, wow, loved it. It's where all the old people go to like yeah. vacate, die, L- and vacay <laughs> and die. Anyways, <laughs> but it's super cute place. Yeah. And there's a ferry to go to Vancouver Island, okay. which is absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. No, very cool. It sounds like it sounds like that was a monster, fantastic trip. I did the. I did the. See, I, I when I when I was in college, I I, uh, I I went to London for six months, and I like visited all these amazing places. Then I came back to the U.S., and I was like, I've never done the U.S. Like, I need to spend a lot of time. Yeah. Traveling in the U.S. and like seeing all the things. You really have a s- gorgeous yeah. country and yeah. like so many different cultures yeah. and like in the same country, th- yeah. the amount of different like way to live and interesting food culture obviously. yeah <laughs> i i've sort of like started uh, blending in all of my head is as everybody lives the same everywhere but i like yeah that you're no. i like that you're breaking it down into individuals like i'm my, i'm taking this 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 larger that we're all just humans and, oh, we are. and, and, Absolutely, and we're all just living know, the same way whether you're in this place or the we still but like different i do things. like this idea yeah that, that it's like that these mm. little small communities yeah, I think differences makes the whole world better. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it would be so boring if everybody would be the same. Yes. Like, yes. you know, liking the same thing, eating the yes. same food. Like, this is this is my that. this is my theory on dating. Everybody's looking for somebody who has something. They're like, oh, we didn't have anything in common. I go, great. That's exactly who you should date. If you don't have anything in common, then they're actually going to open your eyes to new stuff. Exactly. Like, you, what, you're just going to, if you're a vegan, you just get date another vegan. You already have that information. Exactly. No it's more not things gonna are going to happen. It's not going to challenge you either, yeah. you know, and. I'm gonna take my relationship for example. Max is my absolute opposite. Yeah. Like we're not opposite in everything, but we're yeah. opposite in like most things. So it's like if I lack in one point, well, he's gonna rock in that one. Yeah. And if he lacks in that one, when I'm gonna rock in that one. So it's like there, even if we're down, there's never two people down at yeah. the same time, which is perfect because there's always someone to pick the other one up. Right. And then so there's also and there's also this moment of like you, like yeah, you're looking at something from a particular perspective and like you can't see the other sides of it, and then the other person exactly. just walks in and they go, but what about? And you're like, what? Yeah, that pisses me off half <laughs> of the time because, you know, I'm just cranky. But <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. the end, you're looking back, you're like, oh, okay, you know, I'm learning yeah. something. Like yeah, how did that even... point of view. Yeah, like, how did your brain even do that? Uh, yeah, but that's why? Yeah. It's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. Um, so what else? Man, so, um, yeah, I really do I really do wish I... I, I pl- not that I planned better, but just to be able to get here and, and, and pop in and do the thing. Have you been to the comedy festival? Well, not this year. Yeah, but in general. In general, yes. Yeah, well, I walked around. I we saw some shows. Yeah. Um, I wasn't super impressed, funny enough, with the shows over okay. the past years. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Let's expand that point. What's the What's going on? I, uh, we went to see uh, T. G. Miller at some okay. point, yeah. like two years ago. I know T. J. Yeah. Ago. Yeah. Um, I did not find him funny. Interesting. Um, I. So sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> so no, no. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm friend. keeping this completely open. No, it's um, fine. He actually annoyed the fuck out okay. of me on stage, but I love him in uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah. I think he's amazing when yeah. he has a character. He's and a he's fantastic character actor, yeah. Exactly. Like, he is this kind of character. He looks good in it. He's yeah. good in that. Um, it's fun when other people put words in his mouth, but when he comes out with them on his own for his show, I find it's just wow. so bad. Wow. This is a brutal review. I yeah, like this. I am this is so great. sorry. No, I it's really totally hated fine. him. He doesn't but watch I fine. love <laughs> Silicon Valley. I like how you I like how you apologize and then and then one up but I the feel <laughs> bad for the guy. you're, you're, like, know, you're like, like i didn't really like the show and you're like i'm so sorry i hated it i'm so sorry it was the it worst is, i'm so my sorry personal <laughs> point of view you know like i understand it's not like no, it's just so funny because you're because you're you're apologizing and doubling down at the same time it's amazing well you know i'm sorry for giving my opinion but you know it's brutal but i'm sure he's a super cool guy no, it's fine. <laughs> just um, not my cup of tea no, it's really, like i said he's not, gonna, he's not gonna watch he's not gonna listen to the podcast i'm, I'm not yeah, worried he's gonna be like block that bitch on twitter yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's a um there is an interesting thing that's happening now in comedy and and people have been like talking about it and commenting on it but there's this thing now where there's all different versions of what's going on almost to the effect that like things that are not necessarily comedic are becoming popular and there's like there's this vibe now of like people what? just telling stories so they're uh so the thing that 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 Michael Che mentioned this week was that he doesn't think that rape stories in detail rape stories are are funny because they're not funny um they're just stories they're not even rape jokes they're just stories so there was a whole you know slew of things that happened with people putting out specials where they're basically just um i don't know they're like 
they're they're saying the things that you should say politically. Um, I hate 2018. But maybe not in a in a comedic way. And then this is the big debate: Is any of this stuff comedy anymore? Well, back in the days, it was. So it's like it's, it's, it's like not you'll anymore. See, yeah, you'll see a lot of shows where people like comedians are are going for an applause break. Okay. And I don't. I just never understood that. And it, th- this is also, this is going to kind of like put me in a position because then it's like, well, your comedy doesn't get applause breaks, you, you bum. But then it's like, no, you're going for the laugh. That's the whole, well, that's the whole that's point. That's the point. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of the whole point. Yeah. Um, so there's, yeah, so there's this thing that you're, but, but it seems like people are going now for this, this, this politically charged world that we live in. People are going for the, you're right. Yeah, people used to believe in something. This is just the world but we live in now. It's but it's not comedy. Weird. Like, is that comedy? Like, is that, I don't it's know. A if it doesn't make animal. me laugh, it's not comedy as far as right. I'm concerned. It's just like an interesting person to right. listen talking. Yeah, you're watching them. Yeah. They're on the stage. You don't dislike what's happening. But at the but end, you're, you're not like, I, don't think you did, I just think they did no, comedy. No, exactly. I yeah. want to go laugh, pee my pants, you know? Yeah. Go pee in the bush when yeah. I get out because I'm drunk. You right. know, like that right. kind of right. stuff. Right. <laughs> right. There's a lot of peeing on this thing. There is. Uh, oh, not my funny. fetish, though. It's just like it just happened that yeah. we were talking yeah, about yeah. pee. Just, just I never human, met you. I don't know why I'm saying human, that to you. <laughs> just a human thing. We got to pee. Some people have to pee. Um, yeah, so, okay, so so shout out TJ Miller. <laughs> I'm um, so sorry, dude. No, it's yeah, really. It's not, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, no, the show were not that great. Um, and some, but we went to see like three shows that yeah. year. And one comic, uh, one comic recycled a joke from one show to another. Okay. I wanted to die. Yeah. I'm like, she are you kidding? She saw them in them? multiple shows. Yeah, we saw multiple yeah. shows that that year, and one of the comedian used a joke on two shows yeah. that we went to. So we're like, did well you they even don't think about well the people well they don't doing all the shows? Well, they don't. Just one joke. It was the whole same. It was the no, whole exact same. No, it was not. But it's like it's a part of his segment, yeah. and you're like you're seeing the joke coming. You're like, oh, you're not gonna go there, right? Yeah. And then he goes there. You're oh, like, that's wow, funny. You're doing this to us. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> an advanced. This is like an advanced. Um, you're like you're not thinking that people are gonna buy more than one show. Yeah. And like that was like a like we went to see his shows yep. and it was funny and then we went to see uh, it was like a like five or six comedian right, at the right. time. So it was like a mic- melting pot of yeah. jokes. But then he recycled from his show, yeah. a standalone show, and we're like. No, That's man. interesting. You're not thinking people are I've never heard anybody tickets. have this. Uh, yeah, I've never heard anybody have this perspective because because a good joke you want to hear more than once. I will say that. Like a good joke you can yeah, hear a couple times. On the same show. It's though. tough because as a comedian, like I know, I know what somebody's doing. Uh, on, like that was not the same show. No, but it's the thing. Like, why would you recycle? Like, if even if because you want to, because as a comedian, you only, I mean, you only have so much stuff to work with, right? Yeah. So it's like you're not supposed to be like you know generally funny. Like, no, like, no, no, that's not how any of it works. No, <laughs> no, no that'd, be like, that'd be like if I was watching like somebody's <laughs> porn and I was like, no, 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 she did that thing. <laughs> Uh, in the last one I saw, I'm not. This is yeah, not. This, this, okay. this is ruining my whole time. Yeah, I guess so. No, that's yeah. interesting. I've never heard anybody. Yeah, like have that that specific of like. Uh, no, no, no. He used the same joke. It's one joke. For it's, me, I'm like, you know, you're writing time, a show. But not the second time. That show is gonna have like yeah. that joke, but, but then you saw his long. Reuse. You saw his long show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But then you're going on to another. Yeah, show Yeah, you're gonna with have to do some of the. You're gonna have to do some of the pieces for sure. For me, it's like yeah. do something totally different. No, no, you're gonna have to do some of the pieces. Yeah, I was pissed. I there are guys like that hold on to the same jokes for years. Okay. Yeah. And like how's that working for them? <laughs> 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 this is amazing. <laughs> um, some of them are very famous. Jerry Seinfeld has, 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 has okay, had some of the same Seinfeld jokes for like 26 years. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, okay, but just, this just, is just talking what com- about this going is to what the comedy is. is funny, you know? <laughs> no, this is funny. This yeah. is, this okay, is well, that guy, I didn't like that <laughs> recycled joke. I was like, don't recycle this that This is joke. just <laughs> what comedy <laughs> is. No, it's funny. No, th- it is. It does become a problem for some people where they do where they do the same 45 minutes and they come back to a city and it was the same. And then eventually, like, the crowd catches on. You, you're most likely, you're not. Th- it's, it was it's like very two days apart, you know? Well, it's very different, right? So you're creating a fan base, right? So that's something that you do and that you can cultivate. In comedy, it's very hard to do that. So for the most part, you're you're performing for strangers so it's like you almost have no there's a little bit of a pressure that like sometimes like you'll have this thing where somebody comes on a friday night and they such a good time they try to come on a saturday night and then you feel all this pressure to like bring out this other material that either you haven't worked on yet you haven't done in a long time or you're not sure about you know it's not the best stuff because well it wasn't in the first show too. it's kind of the same thing it is but it, but not on the same level so it's mm. like so you could so it's like by and large, if you're doing this thing as a comedian and you're traveling the country, like you could you could do a show in August of 2015. You might not be back in that city until October of 2016. So it's like, A, the crowd is mostly going to forget. Yeah, okay, that, well, that's that, fine. Uh, the jokes that you had. B, that most likely they're not going to like even know that you're coming back in town, like be exactly available the day that you're in that town. So it's like there's so many factors that say 
you can pretty much say the same jokes. True, but, but then not two days apart. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like I'm doing a joke on Friday and I'm going to do that same joke on Saturday yeah, or Sunday. That, no. But the most likely <laughs> these people are they're doing the same 15 minutes uh, arranged differently throughout the entire weekend. Yeah, that's just sort of what comedy is. There's well, only so I much. I got disappointed. <laughs> <in this recycle, laughs> joke. That's not how you do comedy for me. Yeah. No, that's me, great. You changed your. No, jokes. I like that. That's that is a that is a, that is an advanced uh, comedy opinion. Yeah. I like but that. then again, I seem to be a harsh critic. Yeah. Apparently. You're so. like uh, you're like you're like look, it was fine. I like how the longer the conversation goes on, the the worse and worse it gets. Like the experience was fine. Uh, and then by the end, you're like, I, if it ever happens again, I will kill three people. It's very funny. Yeah, it just escalates very quickly <laughs> for you. For you. <laughs> so okay, so uh, okay, so what else? So okay, so what else? What's on like what? What's on your list of things to do? You just get back from the trip. You're sort of like almost grounded again. You're almost settled. Sort of. Yeah. What else? Like, are you are you already sick of being home? Are you just getting used to being home? Are you ready to go again? I'm definitely ready to go at any time, but <laughs> I know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stuck here. Yeah. I'm, it's okay. It's summer. Um, I'm dealing with summer. Mm-hmm. When winter is going to come again, that might really, yeah, yeah you know. You're like very seasonal. Yeah. I it's like a thing But the you. problem in Montreal is like you're losing so much sun. Yeah. So it's like, it's okay if there's snow, but yeah. if it's blue sky, I'm going to be like sort of okay with it. But right. here we're getting like snowfall, gray sky, yeah. like literally there's no sun for maybe like a month. Right. It's minus 40. I'm going outside. My dog doesn't want to go. I right. have a dash on. So he's like, he's super close to the. The, the, the floor the ground, so like right. his wee wees are <laughs> touching the, <laughs> the, the snow his and balls, he doesn't want to his balls walk. are dripping in the snow yeah yeah, yeah it, it's actually he doesn't have balls yeah I get it but we, we, the, but but we were with the water <laughs> I'm trying to do the callback <laughs> don't ruin my I said wee wees you know it works <laughs> what is a wee wee is it a wee wee it's cock yeah but why does he have more than one you call it a wee wees I don't know. For some <laughs> reason, I put an S because it sounded cute. <laughs> it does sound cute. Multiple dicks. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that on yeah. the next girl that I meet. But I yeah, got my wee wees. Yeah. Sounds the wee wees. I, I just had completely. a mental image. <laughs> 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 don't you think of my tiny wee wees, my <laughs> fictional wee wees. But if you have two, it's fine that they're Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just like little nipple-like things. Mm. Uh but yes. yeah, no, it depends on uh, if the if there's not a lot of sun, you know, I get depressed. Yeah, so, I guess that's w- real. Yeah, that's a yeah, real thing. When the winter comes, I'm like, I just want to get out of d- here. It does kind of fuck up your whole your whole vibe and your whole day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we're hoping, you know, maybe go back to California for yeah. like a few weeks this Do winter. It. <laughs> the, um, yeah, so I was in South Africa. It's, it's winter. So I was in I was in winter a couple of days ago. And so the the, the biggest takeaway, the, the temperature is not too bad and they don't get snow or anything like that. But but. The sun goes down at like five. Here four. Yeah. No sun. So and it comes like here at ten. And I don't and I don't even start I don't even start eating until three and sometimes I don't get up until noon. So it's like yeah, if I only get three hours of sun, it's like what is the day? What exactly. did I even do? It's that moment. It's like that weird thing where it's like you don't even know if you accomplish anything because the sun's down. You have feels, not. Yeah. You depressed all day. Although the <laughs> other one's happened. rough too, because it's like as a comedian, it's tough to try to go into a show and make people uh, sit down and be a person when you know that it's shining out. So if you have a show at eight o'clock in the summer and you know the sun's not going down until ten ten thirty, it's like it's hard to get those people to like even want to not be outside. It's and true. Like, like a, a month in California, and you're like, my God, it's like bright and sunny All every the time. day. Like, I don't want to work. Yeah. Like, ever. Right. Like, when, when it's uh, yeah. snowing and you know there's no sun, I want to work. Yeah. Because I have nothing you're else to do. I'm like, down. I'm just gonna drone. I'm accomplishing computer. so much. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I've never. Yeah. Never, that's why people get so much done in New York. It's like because you don't want to go outside. Exactly. Exactly. It's either too hot or too cold. There's like four days that you get to have fun in, in New York. It's like spring and summer, or uh, spring and fall, and yeah. that's it. Where you yeah, can absolutely. actually wear clothing, go outside, and be yeah, a I person. like hoodie weather. You know, yeah. you just go outside, yeah. just like a big hoodie. And it's yeah, nice. you want to be able to walk a little bit and take it off, and then you're good. And then yeah. it gets cold, you put it back on. Yeah, that's yeah. the perfect way to go. Although I'll yeah. tell you what, traveling uh, traveling during the summer is just a much easier thing. I I only had to bring like a, a couple things. If I had to bring jackets and the whole deal, oh, yeah. and the whole thing, yeah, and you need a like, really big jacket. Yeah, then for you're you. like <laughs> then you're like on the plane and you're doing multiple layers and then you get on. Squeeze the with the thing. guy beside you, yeah. you know, dropping all these peanuts all over you. Yeah. Do people do they still do? P- I haven't I haven't been on a flight where they where they serve peanuts really? in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I had that. Yeah? I had peanuts. Okay. I think uh, Air Transat actually yeah? gives peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, on our side, we're planning a cooking show. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so we're going to have a YouTube cooking show. I already have a cooking blog. Yeah. Um, so What's your favorite thing to cook? <sighs> sweets. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> baking, yeah? Sweets. Uh, not, not always baking, but just like sweet stuff. No um, shit. Yeah. You can check zestyandspicy.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pl- plug it again. Yeah, yeah zestyandspicy.com nice. for the cooking blog and at uh, zestyandspicy on Instagram and uh, Twitter. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. 
Yeah, this is um, I had I had sort of like planned a uh, comedy cooking show that I never that I was never really interested in actually selling. Um, but this is this you just was wanted to idea. do it for your own. I just want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, Let's I just do it. don't like. I just don't like. Uh, I just didn't. I didn't like the idea of what somebody else would turn it into. If what I like, if I actually like sold it, then like what they would like start adding to it, I'd be I'd just be frustrated. Well, that that's that's the problem of every artist, actually. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, I was right. talking. I was talking about actually about my cooking show project to a friend with Dutch production. Yeah, he started bringing all these ideas, which are. I'm yeah. sure great ideas. And you're like, hang on, let's scale back. Exact, None of these exactly. Are I, like, you know, like you feel this frustration building yeah. inside you. You're like, I'm never going to do that. Yeah, or right. like, this is really good, but it did not come this is not from my thing. brain. So I'm like, yeah. no, I refuse. This is not at all what I talked about. Where did you get? No, no yeah. fish. Where did you get fish? That's great. Yeah. No, that's funny. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I especially there was like there was like a, a a good moment of time where cooking shows were sort of taking over, and it was like this. If, I think we're if, still in that time. actually. Yeah, I think there's like, a lot of those. If you can add any other little element to it, I think. It's, I want to be the sexy fun. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. Rest, rest in peace. Well, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, it goes a different route. Well, yeah. the sexy uh, the sexy Anthony Bourdain actually was was like I guess Jada 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 De Laurentiis. I don't think she's, I know her. She's no. the she's like the hot one on uh, on the Food Network. There was there was a time period when they were like they were like hiring all these all these hot people and I think and I think their shows weren't successful. I don't think people want to watch hot people cook. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No, you you can't you can't play too much in the sexy and yeah. the, no no this is like yeah it's a th weird th this is what grandma is gonna watch you yeah. know like she she wants yeah. to watch another like experienced yeah. grandma sort of well plus you want to be looking at the food and not like the chef's ass exactly it, Un unless that's kind of your thing <laughs> you know I've done some sexy cooking in the sure, past yeah. oh yeah and these video went viral and the food was terrible oh no shit yeah yeah, yeah. It was called Pat Le Chef. It was like a little blurb that was attached to a web series. Yeah. But basically, the cooking segment went viral and the web series kind of died. No, that's because funny. of it. It was yeah. really bad. It did a lot of shadow to it. But uh, it was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, that's Worst recipes of all time. Yeah. But funny. That's know? great. Yeah, it was that's a me topless and a guy screaming on the side. It was quite funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And a, a comedian that was just like screaming insanities. Yeah. The not TJ <laughs> Miller. No. Um, I, I like the guy. <laughs> no, he's good on Silicon Valley. It's fine. He's, a, he's, a, he's an artiste. He's an experimental exactly. guy. Um, exactly. Exactly. It's funny that you didn't mention the. Do you know who? The, do you know who did the one joke that was the same? Do you remember the name of the comedian? I do not. Okay. I suck with names too. Yeah. Like don't. You, like you don't even ask me like what I watched last week on TV. Yeah. Because I just. It, it 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 comes and it goes like no, I just it's not the type of information that stays in my. That's mind. where we're at. Yeah. I, I I found myself the other day. I watched an entire thing. Thought I learned something, <laughs> and then I tried to talk about it with somebody. I didn't know what it was called. Uh, I didn't know any of the elements of the things. I didn't know any of the names of the people. It's funny you realize I didn't learn anything. I didn't <laughs> learn anything. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten nothing from it. I was like, uh, what even is that? What even was that day and that hour that I spent on yeah, that? Yeah, gotta thing? stop smoking weed, though. Yeah, no, yeah. I wish I wish that was the problem. <laughs> no, we, should, we don't have none of the things that we that we're not even paying attention to the things that we're paying attention to anymore. No, well that's 2018. Wait, hang on, this thing just died yeah. on us. Um, oh, yeah. Well, so let's just let's we can outro. It's actually 45 minutes in. We can outro on this. So he's died. Um, we'll outro here, and we'll just we'll just add it to that because uh, this good. is the podcast the most important how do they follow you on the internet um what what, uh, what are the best ways to reach you okay uh well super easy follow me a little bit i have like so many social media I'm okay so i hate social media but there's so many of them you know so like what's you your hub what's the place okay, where you find the everything? hub would be twitter so okay. and at air rebel on twitter wait that's the dude Bobby that's Slayton. The dude. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, Bobby Slayton. Okay, you remember you the thing? Yeah, you remember. Okay, so the person who repeated that joke was Bobby Slayton. <laughs> Bobby Slayton is a veteran I'm old sorry, school Bobby. guy. It's very funny. Yeah, that's really. He was. No, that's it's funny. The situation is funny. That, that, the that, first time I heard the joke, I yeah. thought the joke was funny. Okay, so that's okay. That's so. Then I would, I, um, I would argue, <laughs> I would argue that what that is is the joke is okay. No, the joke was great. No, just not twice. No, I'm telling you, the joke <laughs> is okay because if the joke was great, you would want to hear it twice. I promise. I guess so. I promise. So I that's what that's so. all I that happened. So. It was an, it was an okay so. joke. Um, okay, sorry. So how, okay, so how, how can they you reach me? Twitter? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Follow me at Air Rebel on Instagram and Twitter for yeah. all the modeling, non safe for work. Yeah. Uh, if not, there's the food with the zesty and spicy. Okay. I do erotic photography and nature photography. So on Twitter is uh, Air Rebel Photo. Cool. Uh, there's my website, airrebel.com, cool. which is extremely non safe for work. Please don't yeah. look at that with your kids. Pay for Denver your porn. And play for your porn. Yes, no, this is, this is one of the things that we that I didn't realize before.
before getting into this is that if you didn't pay for the for the well, content at the can time do you're using it, then you pr- then probably the performers are not getting paid. No, pay and stop porn. using tube sites and stop freaking telling people, oh my god, I watch you on Pornhub. Yeah. Do you know how insulting this is? <laughs> like, oh my god, I want to slap every fucking faces that tell me that shit. I had, I had. Sorry, I'm vulgar, but this I really take it to I heart. I had the <laughs> moment. I had this. I had this like. I had this finally like uh, reciprocating moment the other day on one on the podcast the other day, and somebody told me that they went to a free comedy show. Ah. And then and that's when and then that's when I said, "Pay for your comedy. Yes, pay seriously. for your porn. That's pay for it your is comedy." It's the worst thing to tell an artist. Yeah, like worst thing. It's like, oh my god, I value your work so much. Yeah. I watch it for free. You're like, yeah. great, just yeah. fucking great. Like, yeah, thi- like I, I, I pay my rent in compliments. Right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Become a true fan. Pay for your porn. Yeah. Check so out check out things. my website. I have a blog also, uh, a free blog, rebelmayhem.com, cool. uh, where I just blabber, post some of my photo photography. Talk shit about T.J. Miller. And Talk shit about T.J. Miller and <laughs> soon about you. You know, he's like, man, I met this guy. It was the worst podcast. That's okay. You're, I've not, ever gonna, you're not gonna remember my name. It's <laughs> yeah. fine. Uh, he's not even following me on Twitter. You know, like he asked me to be yes, in this podcast. We had a, yes, we had a, we had a beat. She, I got, I got yelled at this morning for not being able absolutely, to follow her. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I said, why did you take so long to follow me? Yeah. Um. Th- so follow her. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow, follow me on social media. Um, I love to speak to people. So yeah. you know, like, never be scared to talk to me. Um. Yeah, like cool. I'm an easygoing person. Let's yeah. talk food. Let's talk porn. Talk let's peeing talk in whatever. the bushes. And peeing in the bushes. Yeah. Who that? Oh, David Spade. Oh, that's my big friend. Yes, absolutely. Sorry, David Spade blocked me on Twitter. Oh, why? <laughs> Shout out David Spade. This, no, this is like a whole I controversy with I you and comedians. I have nothing against the dude. Uh, not my favorite comedy dude. But Wait, what happened? Um, He tweeted something that was a little offensive yeah. to sex workers. Oh, no and shit. Then I just told him that, you know, I don't have anything against you, but I think you know better than saying this is dumb a, this shit. This is a dumb opinion. Yeah. It was kind of dumb. And then all his fan will railing onto me because wow. I'm a porn performer. Yeah. And apparently that was just too much for him. So he blocked me. Wow. Yeah. This is fantastic. Okay. So so let's get out there and follow like, TJ Miller, David Spade, and yeah, Bobby Slayton. Yeah. Seriously. Like, <laughs> unblock this is me, hilarious. dude. Like, I have done nothing. I had no idea that it was yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, your, yeah. your comedy connections run this deep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, seriously, <laughs> man. I, they're like, this person never <laughs> so we drop an episode every sunday night yeah. um check us out uh, we're on youtube we're on uh, um itunes google play whatever thing you found us on we're on the other if you switch platforms android to apple we uh we, we got you uh, we're on stitcher app and a bunch of other places uh, check out uh, the youtube content from tonight check out all the things that we've talked about thank you so much for listening thank you again to my guests hey, thanks for inviting me um uh, porn stars are people podcast